images are there. I think not a single person in India who can say this image they are not aware. This is very famous image and very old image. More than 10,000 years minimum we can say it is an old image. As per modern history, if we will look, if we will calculate based on our uh, Indian times time cycle, then we can say it will be millions of years old. Because it this is happened. The Treta Yuga only, now it is a Kali Yuga. Treta Yuga over, Dwapar Yuga over, now it is Kali Yuga. Then maybe lakh, one lakh, two lakh or maybe millions, million of the years old. But just suppose if you are, uh, if you are uh, believing on modern science and modern history, then this image, you can say minimum, it will be 10,000 years old. But still this image is having that much craze and that much, that much impact after 10,000 years also. Just I want to ask you very simple question. Very simple question. You might be knowing. You might be knowing. But I am just trying to ask you in different perspective. Who won between Ram and Ravan? Of course, Ram has won. Ravan lost. Ram has won the war and Ravan lost. But next question, it will be much confusing. Who was more talented between Ram and Ravan? Ravan talent was proven not only on the earth in all the loka it was proven Ram talent was not proven at all not a single person has seen the Ram talent before before the battle of uh, battle with the Ravan he was a just you can say uh, Dasrath son he was not that much famous anyway it was, he was very young age only 16 years old when he left for the jungle when he left for the one was that time only 16 years old then who was more talented? Of course, Ravan was more talented compared to Ram. But why Ravan lost the war? If he was more talented, then he must would we win. Why he lost? Meaning simple is there. If we have little, little logic, then we can say only talent is not sufficient to win. Means if you are very talented, then it is not giving you guarantee you will be successful or you will win. What are the other factors are there who will who will uh, make the who will make the sufficient ingre ingredient to become successful? What are the other things? If we are not able to understand these other things, only we will think we are talented and uh, we are putting sufficient effort. We are putting hard effort. God will give the give the result. Then that is not correct approach. This is not correct thinking pattern. Then first we have to correct our thinking pattern. Because that is, you can say, basic software of our brain. Once thinking pattern will be corrected, remaining thing will be started to correct automatically. Then what are the factors that will decide and what are the factors has gone against the Ravan, although he was the one of the superpower, you can say, that point of time. As a one person, he was a, like a superpower, like you can say current time USA or, or uh, UK, like this much big power, U, USA, Russia, that much superpower was there. God was afraid from Ravan, but one simple person, Ram, has defeated him. Ram ke pair mein chappal tak nahi tha, dek. What was the difference? Just to look, these two person, but still Ravan has lost. What are the factors? Just we'll try to understand. And what are the set of features or set of the qualities are there that will create the success or that maybe create miracles? First set is there, you have the talent that must be and you are doing the hard work and smart work. What is difference between hard work and smart work? I will just come back to you. But this is one of one kind of uh, misconception among the people like hard work and smart work. People will think if you are doing in shortcut way, that is smart work. It is totally wrong. It is totally wrong. And if you are doing in a very exhaustive way, it is a hard work and it is a wrong approach. No. It is not it is not a correct dif uh, difference between hard work and smart work simple meaning is simple difference is there smart work always kill the problem hard work will just push the problem hard work will push the problem for temporarily but smart work will kill the problem then whenever you are killing the problem you can say you're a smart worker i will show you the example historically also and in present way also Another set is there that is talent plus hard work, smart work and right attitude. This will create the success. 
this will create the success but you can't expect such level of success will be very high maybe personal at personally you personal level you will become successful but overall you can't say in guarantee your level of success will be very high like a very top level of success or you have done something for society or this human being that level may or may not become to achieve that level what is requirement talent must be hard work smart work must be right attitude should be there and this masala must be mixed confidence without this great success will never come and once you have mixed these four miracles can happen miracles can happen you can believe on these words like same way like sun is sun is uh, rising in the east from last millions of the years miracle can can happen just suppose whatever uh, victory of ram was there against ravan what is the you can say that victory it is a historical also you can say it is a religious point of view also it was a like a dharma and adharma everything was there but just suppose you try to understand this same same scenario as a businessman same scenario as a businessman or as a business people as a mba person what is there approximately 15 lakh crores annually spent on dasara deepavali and ram navami 15 lakhs crore annually in india only it is spent money in these three occasions these three festival what is these three festival it is a by product of ram victory this is not actual victory actual victory happened but afterwards once he returned back these three festival has uh, celebrated as a by product by product of ram victory is able to make that much mobilization of economy and from last 6000 to 10000 years it is keep on happening how much deep impact it has happened this is called miracles when uh, ram has left the ayodhya he was 16 years old that time he was nothing he was not maryada purushottam ram or nothing nothing he was a son of dasarath he was yuvraj ram simple person but only thing he is from the ruler family but after 14 years once he came back then from simple ram he has become maryada purushottam bhagwan shri ram this was the achievement of that 14 years of vanvas 14 years of tough life has given the tag of maryada purushottam bhagwan shri ram then this is the this is the you can say trial of nature nature will nature will nature will like you can say they will uh, give you very tough situation if very tough situation is coming in front of you you just imagine just believe it that much level of success also will come just believe it this is correct if you are if you are facing very great level of difficulties that much level of success also will come but you must believe and you must sustain during that tough time if you sustain that much level of success also will come this is just testing of nature will take the test when hanuman ji started to go to lanka then what happened all god only sent uh, sent sursa he just go and check he is capable or not kudrat will nature will just test you are you capable or not if you will go back after some time nature will laugh you are not capable if you are sustaining after certain time the same nature will start to support you and that how much difficulty you faced that much level of success also will come who was knowing about ram next day he was going to become the yuvraj prince ram everything was prepared just one day before night all drama happened and he has gone to 14 years one was 14 years one was although he was not done any mistake he has not done a, his involvement itself was not there dasrath ke kaisam involvement was there he was not involved involved at all but 